Mr. V here. I wanted to go ahead and walk us through our fade in and fade out project for this week. So this is our little help video. I'm going to start out by taking a look at the requirements that I gave you. So first of all, uh, this is due on Thursday, January 28th by 9 p.m. Submitted to me on BandLab. Make sure we get that in. If you have any issues, do not wait till Thursday to tell me. Please do so as soon as you are running into a problem. So let's go back up and look at what this will be. In BandLab, BandLab, in BandLab, you will create a project and title it with your name and fade in, fade out project. You're going to have a Google Drive folder shared with you that has five labeled clips. Enter these five tracks into BandLab. We're going to go over how to do that in a moment. And when written, you will slice the tracks into the assigned lengths and then complete the volume adjusted listed. So let's go ahead and let's just see how it is we're going to set this up. So we're going to click on BandLab, that tab I have open. First thing I want to do, I've obviously already said that you need to have your name. And what did I put for it? We put fade in fade out project so mr v fade in slash out project so i know that that is correct now i have shared with you already a google drive file that has a bunch of clips in it today we're not going to use those clips i don't want to give it away how you're going to do it but i'm going to show you how we add other clips so i go up here i have my two clips that we used in class the other day good news and missed calls i'm going to take good news come up to my three dots, select download. The other way you can do that, and I'm going to do it for missed calls, I can click, I can right click for you guys. I think somebody's told me it's, you click alt and then your click, and it'll pop that up. I click download. So those two are now downloaded onto my computer. I come back up here. I'm going to add those. Now I can either click here, or honestly, you can actually just drag and drop and it normally shows up apparently not this time so what I'm gonna do come over here let's see what's in my downloads up oh, there's missed calls let's add that and let's add my next loop I'm gonna add good news open that up so now that I have both of those tracks on here when I want to work on one we talked about this using the M to go ahead and mute whatever track it is you are not working on. I prefer that over solo because then I know that the other track is definitely off and we can actually have multiple tracks on solo. So if we have mute, we're looking at missed calls. Now, the purpose of this project is to work on understanding how fading in and fading out of music works. So these two clips do not have a fade in or out. Going forward, what I'm going to want to do since I'm going to be asked to start a clip at minutes seconds and then milliseconds I want to switch my brower up here from beats and measures to minutes and seconds that's gonna help me now I'm gonna go ahead and say that I want to cut missed calls at 30 seconds so I move the playhead to 30 seconds hit s oh I'm on good news right now I need to make sure I'm clicked on missed calls there it's highlighted now 30 seconds click s take the extra spot that I need and delete. So now I have my first 30 seconds of missed calls, which is what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead. I'll keep my playhead out of the way for now. Where we find the ability to change our volume is this little tool right here. It's our automation tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we can see that we have volume selected. The other thing you can select is pan. We're going to look at that a little bit later. But the first thing we have to do is I have to add a point. Okay, so as I add a point, it gives it a dot. Now, I want to fade this in for the first 10 seconds. So I find my playhead here. I know that's about where 10 seconds is. I'm going to drop another dot right there by clicking on it. I'm going to come back to my first one. You can see it shows me at 0.0, .0 decibels. That is exactly where whatever we did was recorded or the audio we were added. So we're not adding any volume or subtracting any volume yet. As I click and hold down that dot and pull it down, we can see that it changes to negative decibels. And then eventually when I get all the way to the bottom, negative infinity decibels. That means zero sound. So now we have created a volume line that gradually goes up over 10 seconds. That's where I put my two points. Starts out at nothing and will go up to, oh, 
for whatever reason, it switched from zero. So one of the things we have learned uh, using BandLab is you can't go back to exact zero. So you can either have 0.1 decibels plus or negative 0.2. Either one, it's close enough. So let's take a listen to what that fade in looks like now. and cash back on and off. Okay, so we had that full fade in, and Mr. V hit a wrong button, so you started to hear my uh, podcast that was pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Spotify so you guys don't hear that. All right, so that's a fade in. Pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. We add our two points. We make sure that we drag all the way down to infinity, and we see where it sounds good. Now, we're going to take a look at good news really quick. Okay, I'm going to unmute it, and I want to fade out. So I'm going to go back to, let's say, 20 seconds. Okay, I'm also going to get out of the volume tool, because every time I click right now with the volume tool or the automation on, it's going to add a point. We don't want to do that yet. So I click out. I'm operating, working on just the track. Okay, uh, we don't need to see that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slice my track now at 20 seconds again, like I said I wanted to do. All right, so now I can get rid of that. I can delete this part, delete this part. What we want to do right now is we're going to try a fade out. So we come back up here to our automation, click it, bring up our volume tool. I have a point already set at 18 seconds. So that would be a two-second fade out. I don't know. That might be a little abrupt. So I can take that point and move that around. Let's say that we're going to try a six-second fade out. So I'm back around 14 seconds. I'm going to get it as close to the original volume as I can. Going to go to the where the track ends, add a point, and drag it down to infinity decibels. So we can now listen to what that sounds like with a fade out. And here comes the fade out. So we can see that it drops out gradually. Um, BandLab has its limitations, obviously. Some programs will actually make it so uh, it's a, even more subtle uh, when it goes from, you know, very, very quiet to nothing. Your headphones obviously affect that. There are multiple things that affect this, but um, in general, BandLab does a great job of showing you the fade in and fade out. So let's look at the last thing that we would do. I'm actually going to um, move the volumes back up to almost normal. Uh, one of the other things you're going to have to do in this project is you are going to crossfade. So you're going to do that with tracks four and five that I gave you. You're going to create a transition between the tracks while track four fades out. You will position track four to fade in. So you're going to create, you're going to start both clips at zero, end them at 28, but you're going to fade them out. Okay, you're going to crossfade them. So I'm going to go ahead and move. Okay, let's say that I cut. Uh, missed calls up. Let's. Hmm, we're just using this as an example. So I'm going to move good news, the actual track itself. And as Mr. V continues to forget with Band Lab, I need to click off the automation before I move the track. So I'm going to move the track so they are over top of one another. Okay. So you can see that both tracks have time where they would be playing at the same volume. So let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. very awkward. So if I was switching from one song to the next or one audio clip to the next, that's not very pleasant. If I were to move them so one stops and one starts, that tends to be a little too abrupt of a change between tracks. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Okay, so what we can do to make the transition between songs a little bit better, okay, and this is what some DJs do by hand. This is what radio stations can pre-program, and this is what even options on Spotify have for you. We're going to crossfade them. So as Missed Calls, our top track, goes out, we are going to fade Good News in. 
So the other day in class, I, I managed to do this like perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fade out missed calls, and I'm going to start at eight seconds back. There is no exact amount of time that makes this sound good. It is really something we just have to mess around with. So I'm going to go ahead. Good news should start out completely down the whole length of the track. And then as these two tracks come in, I'm going to go ahead and say that over the last two seconds is where I want it to come back up to full volume of good news. And then so we hear we can look and see missed calls is going down. And at a certain point, good news is going to slide in. Let's take a listen to that transition or that crossfade. Missed calls going out. Good news coming in. So there's different ways to do that. I could have made that more abrupt. Let's go ahead and let's bring missed calls. Let's have them go at about the same time and see what that sounds like now. Some people might like that. Um, there's no wrong or exactly right way to do this. We all have our preferences. You just want it to be comfortable for people to listen to. There's not a set thing like, oh, you know, this many seconds to go in and out, whatever. Um, let's try it being more abrupt with how good news comes in, and let's keep, uh, keep missed calls fading out slowly. See what that sounds like. Okay, so there's multiple ways to do it. We want to take a look, obviously, at the rate of speed that we are bringing something in or something out. We want to take a look at the overlap that they might have and those kind of things as we go. So just check this out for today. You're going to be doing that on tracks four and five. Um, if you have any more questions, make sure you check with Mr. V. And I hope that you found this video helpful today.